In 2014, the Try Guys uploaded the Try Guys Try Drag. Kind of became the first Try Guys video. I guess to start, just a nuts and bolts question. When you're in drag, where do the nuts and bolts go? <laughs> and we were looking back at it and we realized that video is only eight minutes long. Guess who tucked? Mash my junk down. Oh, oh he's gonna show us his peacock. Y'all talk about a lot about dicks for being a bunch of straight dudes. <laughs> Two days of footage that the world has never seen. Don't, don't pan down. We really wanted to give it the opportunity to be the video it should have been to begin with. Don't be a hoe. I can't be a hoe. Late at night, we could be a hoe. Okay. My daughter's so ugly. <laughs> 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 look like a whore, Eugene. Oh, we're opening the Disney vault. The tri cut. The fully remastered as the artists intended it. Would you be upset? said if I were prettier than you? Oh, this is not possible. I'm a teen model. I got something to admit to you. To admit to you. I knew you were I hiding got something. I got something. Try guys, try drag. We talk. We talk. We talk. And this is how we talk. What? What? Welcome back. How's everyone doing tonight? Woo! Tonight we're gonna be popping the cherry. When you're a straight man, there's the fear of compromising your masculinity. Right. Are there straight guys who do drag? My mom does not understand drag, and she'll probably see this video. I can't even wrap my brain around it. No, I don't think I've ever been to a drag show. You're gonna be in one tomorrow. I, 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 going straight to the top. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm Keith. David or Misty. David I'm or Misty or well, David now. David right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I will be your mother later. Cool. I don't really know what that means. You're like my mother. Yes. Well, Auntie, uh, I've never carried the term. Is this something that is predominant in the drag community? Like, do people all have mothers? No. Not everyone has a mother. But back in the day, if you wanted to be a drag queen, you had to seek out a queen that would give you a chance. I've said this before, like, I'm not the most secure person. You're going to learn a lot about yourself. People view you in a very different way, and people treat you different. And that shows you a different side of yourself. Who is Mayhem Miller? It is the fantasy. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Drag race legend, Mayhem Miller. She's the chocolate diva. They call me the queen of side eye. Everyone thinks, oh, oh you, you want to be pretty, you want to make money. No, I want to make people cry. Okay. Misty, I want it to be a clown. That's like literally what I want it to be. I want to join the circus and be a clown. And that's exactly what I'm doing. It's a little bit different. But I'm still putting on funny shoes, a wig, and a bunch of makeup. A cartoon porn star. Everybody wants it, but you can't have it. A loser, a loser. Crazy, drunk, fun, comedian. Yours are sparkly. Why aren't mine sparkly? Because I'm rich. Secretly badass slut. I could be a secretly badass slut. I feel like you could be. The beautiful I grew up like a ballet dancer. It's more of like another avenue of the arts. It's a little bit gritty, but like also classy. It's an art form. It's like you're an actor playing a role. Today they ain't your friends or your competition, dude. I want to win this thing. <laughs> We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. Don't worry. Listen, you're going to be tortured tomorrow. Am I? Yeah. That no doesn't good. sound fun. <laughs> I'm but I'm you're going to be so you think pretty. Am I gonna be tortured tomorrow? You ready to kick some ass? Yes, let's do it. Ow! Yeah. Oh, wait, should I have owed? Let's do it again. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> I felt better. Well, this might be the most cameras and sound we've had rolling at one time. Okay. Illusion, you look different today, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Is it, it might be the tiny hat? Uh, yeah, I, I put an accessory on today. That's, I think yes. that's the only difference, yeah. So my grandmother is coming tomorrow. Yeah, I heard. Uh, Are she, you nervous? <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. My girlfriend is going to come watch. She was sort of upset that I put my butt on the internet. What does your wife think about the whole drag thing? She will be coming to the show. She's coming to the show. I think like... you're gonna sit next to her. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> I hope she's not mean. She likes dogs. You know, most most nice people like I'm dogs. a dog person as well. There you go. Both of my sisters are flying into town and they're gonna be there at the performance. They are both the most cutthroat Asian girls you'll meet. Oh, yes. I have a tendency of making a lot of people cry. I'm excited now. I didn't realize I would be getting to insult people. That's why I got into this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we need to talk about if we need to shave any body hair off. I kind of, wait, are you all shaving your armpits? Well, you might want, don't, don't shave the pits because you might need more time on makeup. 
<laughs> what are you trying to say about my daughter? That was just a read and none of us got it. Mayhem, your daughter is shady. She needs to go wait in the car. Still, I didn't really get it. Was it like, cause he's ugly? Is that what the... He's saying I need more makeup, Ned. <laughs> oh my gosh, shade is everywhere. I like the shade because I hate the sun. All of them are just part of it. Um, just like up to... Uh... <laughs> like, what made you decide to do it? Well, the first time I did drag was for a fundraiser for a gay youth group. So one of my friends put me in a wig and makeup and I got a really good response, so I just kept doing it. I just went to a lot of drag shows when I first came out and was at the club and was intrigued by it. Am I the first daughter you're pushing out? Or oh, no. have you pushed out previous babies? Oh no, see I need to get my tubes tied. Like, <laughs> Am they I just gonna be your coming. last baby? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, I love okay. sex too much. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready for this? Do you get ticklish if like somebody no, almost- No, stop it. Like if stop almost, it. like <laughs> <laughs> Well I need to remove any of my hair. Um, I mean, you have to cover all of the boy. Oh, hardwood floors work best. <laughs> Which way do you want me? Oh, are you shaving you? Am I shaving you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this took a turn to the erotic side. <laughs> have you shaved your chest before? No. Never. I've never shaved. Never? Well, you should then. Really, my thought is like, what happens if I'm with a girl? But I'm like, who am I kidding? I'm f***ing single as shit. I'm not gonna, it's not a problem. Well, are you supposed to like just dry shave you? That's gonna be No, terrible. we got cream. You're, I thought you were the expert. Well, I mean, I, I shave over a sink, <laughs> like a human. This is weird. I can't tell if this is arousing or... It's not, it's not arousing. You're right. I, right when I said it, I was like, nope, that is not the word. My skin's so nubile. I don't know what that means. I what? think it means like <laughs> fresh, fresh and baby-like, okay. doesn't it? All right, well, if you're gonna be my daughter, you're gonna have to dumb it down a little bit. Okay. I think that's what I'm most excited about, because you're the the dumbest. The dumbest drag queen in WeHo, the queen is stupid. That's the most perfect thing. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> Was she longer? Well, she just know. jumped out at me. I am right-handed. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> some of them are dreaded. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I have some hair in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if it's my wig hair or if it's your leg hair. <laughs> I want to take out my gum just to check and see what length it is. Leg hair. Oh. <laughs> when you think about you being turned into a drag queen, like what kind of queen would you want to be? So are we rehearsing in this or? Uh, well, you know, I brought some movement clothes. Okay. I don't know if that's appropriate. I, I really don't know where to start. <laughs> So <laughs> you have like dancing queens, you have on point lip sync queens, you have ones who deliver like a very like convincing look. What helps me out is music. In my mind, I'm thinking Beyonce. Perfect. Trading my combat boots for ladies heels. I'm seen as kind of a normal guy. I have never changed this haircut. So you want to be like I totally be opposite. I want to be batshit crazy. I was into like college rock and like alternative music. Okay. <laughs> you look like a Weezer fan. I'm a big Weezer yes. fan. How'd you guess? Kesha. Kesha. There you go. Okay, I can Kesha. work with I can work with Kesha. So we're gonna make you a little trashy. Dirty, thing. trashy. I love Katy Perry's song, Peacock. Okay. And she just looks like a piece of bubble gum. We can do that. Robin's always fun. I, I could definitely see you doing some Robin. I say embrace the dash of insecurity. I just want to blow this house up. Like, I want to, you know that how the song Turn Down For What makes you feel? I want everyone in the audience to be feeling that. You don't have to do a feminine song. I do a couple songs where I, they're male singing. I mean, they're like George Michael, though. I got the world on a string. <laughs> Wait, that's Michael Bublé. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not the right Man, Michael. that guy's got pipes. Okay, so I need to learn how to perform. Be a lady. Be a lady. Never worn girl shoes, mostly because my feet I was gonna are say. so big. So yeah. I went through like the seventh circle of hell to find you a pair of monster heels. I, I like though, they look sturdy. <laughs> I dance, I have a dance background. Well, have you my... danced in heels before? I've never danced in heels. Okay, we, mm. Yeah, so I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Mm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Look at it. Oh, right. I'm so enormous. Yes. I could give someone a mean kick. My head's already higher than the door frame. You had a free pass. You could have gone your entire life without ever f***ing with heels. And you're like, you know what? F*** that. I'm gonna wear heels. What are you thinking? Oh, I thinking? love it though. You love heels? I love it. I don't yeah. believe that. So you're gonna want to drop yourself out of your chest and into your hips. Into my hips. I like the idea of you being as big as you're gonna be. How so you're big gonna... are these heels? I think they're at least six. Is that, is that a lot? Messing. Is that a lot? <laughs> You're gonna put the weight on the front. There you go. Oh, she's got a delicate walk. It adds to the walk, it adds to the confidence. Don't they hurt so much? 
Well, yeah, but it's worth it. I feel like I'm walking like an old Asian man. And these ankles ain't strong. It's, oh, good, great. <laughs> I feel like I'm living in a trepidatious state. Again, big words. <laughs> I, I know big you're words. right. This is like drag boot camp right yeah. now. How are you more butch now? <laughs> this is harder than I expected. It's a lot of being aware of your body and yeah. control. There's a lot of control involved. You expect me to dance in these? Yes, I do. What? My calves feel go. crazy already. But they look amazing. Look at, ooh. This should be like an Olympic sport. Oh, it's gonna get a lot more expensive <laughs> once everything is on. Absolutely not getting it. Ah! I'm gonna have to peer out like a giant looking down from the heavens. So you need water. Where are the little waters, Captain? Yeah, he's doing great. <sighs> <laughs> here's here's a question. I don't know if I don't know if this is it's potentially a touchdown. Like, what were your parents' reaction when you started doing drag? They were always supportive of me. They were yeah. very loving parents. That's great. Um, they didn't know how to react to drag. Yeah, the I mean, first time it was a surprise to them because they I'm sure they were not from that world. My mother loves it now. She's my biggest fan. Oh, that's great. What do your family think about it? They're super supportive. Oh, that's great. Um, Dad's a huge fan. When I made a separate Facebook for her, he was the first person to comment on anything. At the time, I was a very baby drag queen, didn't have any boobs on. Literally, the first comment I ever had on any of my pictures was, do we need to get you some boobies from my dad? There was a moment where I thought my mom would be a little bit weird with it, but she's come to see my shows and she absolutely loves it. She actually likes makes requests on what numbers I should do when, oh, wow. I, when she's gonna be in the audience. Like she loves my Liza Minnelli number. Have you, has your family always been accepting of your drag performances? They, they've come along a long way. Um, they initially resisted, they hated it. Um, but they have all come to shows over the years. Uh, my brothers have frequent shows and my mom, my dad, and my grandmother, mother has come before and it's, it's it's funny now because they make joke of it, but before it was it was a it was a tough it was a tough traveling road for me. Yeah, because you you came out of the closet and that was one thing that they grew to accept. Yeah, and then then I hit them with another one, <laughs> and then you began a uh, drag performance. Yeah, and so have you seen like public opinion change towards it? Oh God, yes. I remember when I first started doing drag, it was so difficult to get girls clothes. I would go to stores and people would be like, what are you doing? Like, now you walk in and they're like, oh, come on in, buy it all. Like, can you do a little dance when you try it on? And so like, people love drag so much more now. It's a lot more a part of our, our everyday society now. Everyone likes it. Got this way, God, right? I love that. I'm you so love into that. All of these people in the audience, you gotta connect with them. This is how so, I normally connect with people in the audience. I try and point to every single one. I'm like, you gotta get rid of all of what the boy would do right? and let the girl come out. Wow. I know I wanna be elegant and I know I wanna kind of really impress people with a level of class, mm -hmm. but I have no idea what I would call myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce on stilts. The first thing I thought was bukake. Eugene Wee Wang. Tuckleberry Finn. Sushi homemaker. That's like sexist and racist at the same time. I uh, <laughs> I was watching porn and I got mine that way. Wait, <laughs> what type of porn has the word mayhem in it? Um, the sex tape with Tommy Lee and Pamela. He has a tattoo that says mayhem across his stomach. My last name is Kornfeld, a nice Jewish boy name. He talked about puns playing words, cornucopia. I like that. Can you even pop a champagne bottle with your dick? Because you can. Maybe that should be your drag name. Champagne can? Champagne can. I like it. I like, I like it, it too. Have we thought of a name? Because I thought of a name. Okay, what? I don't know if there's a queen named this, and if there is, I don't care because I haven't heard of you. Um, Ginger Vitus. <laughs> Ginger Vitus? Ginger Vitus, she's so sweet, she's gonna give you a cavity. <laughs> I, I love that. I'm gonna need to poke around that cavity. <laughs> Right? My name is Ginger Vitos. I'm so sweet, I'm gonna give you a cavity, but don't worry, I'll fill it. Yes! I'm so new dopper numbers, this back way. Oh. I quit. Oh. No, Maybe. Misty. <laughs> Typical drag show would be a couple girls going out there and picking some songs and do their little dance and get some money. So when you're grabbing tips, yeah. make sure that you make eye contact. Oh, okay. shoot. It's kind of like going to a strip club. So you it's know. okay for me to think of myself as a stripper for a moment. Yeah. You don't go to the strip club and just sit there and watch the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Tip the bitch. So, Can okay. I touch them? Yeah, you, you're a f***ing drag queen. All right, you okay. can do whatever the hell you want. You don't have to be 
the most polished queen at all. You don't have to be the most beautiful, you don't have to have the best costumes, but if you can connect with people on that stage, that's what makes you the queen. You do get lost in them. You do? I mean, yeah. Or you do like a sexy crawl across the bar. It's a car wash, ladies and gentlemen. My wife can tell you I'm really bad at winking. <laughs> that was better, it got better. Mwah. Wow. Oh wow, and then it got and then lipstick on it. Oh my gosh. Wall business. <laughs> Sitting on laps, rubbing in the cleavage, yep. shimmy shimmy, shake shake, booty booty. We talked about a history lesson. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Let's cut that one. Go with it, go with it, roll with it. Make the pussy sweat and the dicks hard. I gotta make those pussies wet and them dicks hard. You can show the audience your peacock at one point. That's funny. Yeah. A typical drag term is coins, because we get the coins, but we don't take actual coins. So coin means dollar. Yes. It's not a bus, it's a drag queen. Make, Make the, the pussies, pussies wet, wet and the dicks, dicks hard. You found her. I think I found her because you showed me where she was. Oh, oh I, you let me see your peacock. <laughs> well, that's gonna be tucking. You're gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna I'm most see. afraid of that. <laughs> you should be. For Kesha, she, obviously she's feminine. She's a girl. Yeah, she's a, right. Well, she's a little bit of a tomboy, but the thing is, is that because you're a male already, you don't need to focus so much on becoming a tomboy. Yeah. You need to focus more on being feminine. Right. The ideas of masculinity and femininity have changed so much. Of course. Especially in recent years with drag being such a more socially accepted thing. It's more fluid. There's, there's less social pressure on it now, I feel like. Is it harder to date as a drag queen in the gay community? Absolutely. Should not most gay men understand the art of drag and that it's like a performance you're putting on? You would think so. You yeah. would think gay men would know, especially with the oppression that we had to go through. You would think that they would understand, oh, this is our form, a part of our culture. This is something we should celebrate. But a lot of them look down on drag like, oh, wait, no. I don't know about that. It's just dress up. It's art. It's theater. And a lot of a lot of guys can't look past that. But you know, the older I get, I find that I don't really care about that. And if somebody's gonna look at me weird for being a drag queen, you know, then I don't probably want them in my life anyways. At the end of the night, when my show's over, it all comes off. And Dewan steps into the door. I mean, it's like anything, you just have to educate yourself about it yeah. before you're before you're making assumptions. Drag has changed my entire life. Really? Um, How so? Well, I don't have eyebrows anymore, that's one. <laughs> so we're just- What is happening? We are just putting oh, this on Jesus. your brows. Oh, we're gonna glue your eyebrows I down. Know. Isn't it weird to think that glue sticks are most commonly bought by elementary school kids and drag queens? Oh, it doesn't feel bad. So this is Prozade. This is a medical adhesive. And this is what I use to take up my brows. Is this something that's easy to remove later? No. Oh. <laughs> well, you just have this unibrow that's like. I don't have a unibrow. Oh my god, it's amazing. What? That has a big ass unibrow. No, I don't. You sure do. I have a unibrow? You sure do. It's almost like a, a liquid stitch. This is to keep a bond for a few weeks. What? <laughs> don't be scared. It's on my face too. Yeah, but this is it's... a career for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm learning how to be a woman and a better man. Oh. Beautiful, it's true. Real men date drag queen. <laughs> hey -oh. Girl, it could rain and not come off. You know, Eugene, today, Zach and I found a blog entry d uh, dedicated yeah. to how gorgeous you are, and they had like, they knew where you were from, and they knew your age. They had like stalked you, and they had listed all your information. What? What? When do I, when am I supposed to uh, tuck my sack back? Oh, we're just on the brows okay. still. And I'm not, that's that's your mother's that's her, responsibility. That's okay. Do you think we're okay with time right now? Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to feel like there's <laughs> a lot of stuff on my face. What like level are, how many levels are there? Oh, you just keep going. This is like a, <laughs> this is like a skyscraper of stories of, of makeup on my face. Uh, that's, that's called side eye. You're giving side eye right now. You have to like, you like that was a little bro like, There you go, yeah. I'm teaching this one how to side eye. So, oh, like the only side eye, the only, this is the queen of side eye. So, oh, did that, are you okay? Did you hurt? I can see that without even having glasses on. Oh yeah, yeah, no, she gives hard side eye. Now tell me about like this whole roasting thing, because we didn't have time for that. What am I supposed to do? Um, roasting, well that's a delicate art. This unibrow is really, it's giving oh. me up. It's not naturally pretty. Oh, oh you, you ain't got no forehead. Good for you. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty tolerable forehead. You got like a three head. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it has a six head, so it's all good. You have to like kind of poke fun at the person. Yeah. We might just give you some sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> I like you. Like, don't don't a, be afraid of a cheap shot. It's, it's a delicate art, so let's yeah. just f***ing go for it without practicing. I feel like I am a, a canvas, and you are just a French master. My face is actually just going to be a beautiful landscape with like a dog running on a farm. That sounds nice. The dog part might be right. Oh, man. Oh. Girl, May. She looked like Stuart from Mad TV. <laughs> Stuart! Look what I can do! Stuart! Get look at her, look at her, look at her! Stuart! Stuart, what did I tell you about eating makeup, Stuart? Stuart! Let me do it! I thought I was turning you into a lady. And I was... Let me do it! Turn me into a Turn you into the only good Early thing from Mad TV. Yeah. Do people ever look at drag queens and think they're trying to make a comment on, like, ladies? Oh, please. If you're going to a drag show trying to be offended, you're gonna be. <laughs> Diana, Diana, what's your full drag name? I am Diana Jack it Off. Jack it Off. How do you spell Jack it Off? D Z H A K E T O V. So it's like Russian. It's the Russian spelling. I I was born in Russia. Personally, Deshaun was not <laughs> born in Russia. Yeah. But Diana was. Oh, so you created the story for yes. Diana. So I could create a story for myself. Yeah. Okay. You like made me very sexually uncomfortable for a moment. Oh, just wait till I put the wig on. <laughs> um, I got something to admit to you. I got, I got a, I got a. I knew you were I hiding gotta, something. I gotta put it all on the table. I'm Asian. Here's the thing, as the ethnic queens, yes. right? As the ethnic queens of color. pairing, how much do you play into that? Because I didn't want to do, I think, the expected, like, sort of geisha inspired look. I don't no want to go there. No <laughs> Mulan. Um, is there a drag queen named Sushi? I don't know a sushi. Kimchi, sundubu, bibimbap, kaguksu, bulgogi. Korean words. I choose not to play into that because I don't want to be stereotyped or Put into a box. But your mother's a Miller, so you can't be Miller. Oh, should I do Miller's last name? You can, if you want. Well, maybe we should wait to see how pretty I am and then she'll decide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on no. Uh, she'll be like, no, <laughs> she's a jack off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I that thought is... you didn't glue your wig on. Do you uh, want me to uh, snatch uh, it? <laughs> no wig snatching. I, it's interesting. It's been a while since I've been out of our world. Yeah, I know. You guys are going to have to put subtitles for all the drag terms that we're using that we've just flown through. What's fish? Fish is just like normal girls. Fish is just you look like a real girl. Mm. Does that is that short for efficient? No. No. No, clearly that's not what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Got those drunk Crawford eyebrows. Like you could walk on the street and no one's gonna clock you and say, that's a drag queen. Oh, that's just a fish. Serving fish sticks for breakfast. Look at that fish with legs. Yeah. What is Kiki? Kiki is like a, like a little a little gathering. Like we're kiki right now. We're sitting oh, okay. here, we're talking. I thought Kiki was sexual. No, that's Kai Kai. Oh, that's Kai Kai. Kai Kai is drag on drag love. Busted, there's another drag term. Yeah. Busted, I get that one. Feeling your quiche. Is it a quiche that's gone wrong? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, ooh, her quiche is overcooked. Oh, that's nasty. We have a new drag term now. She's no good at other people's makeup, girl. She's just finding this out. <laughs> How much of a thing is makeup? It's a big thing. I mean, we have to like feminize your face and like, contour like, your nose. That's an eyebrow. <laughs> she gonna clean it up. <laughs> Do you have enough time to clean that up? Yeah, girl. <laughs> I am so f***ing screwed. <laughs> now you really look like Lady Gaga. What she did. What have I done? <laughs> Cupcake, her brows look better painted on than yours, though. Oh, you, oh, bro! Not yet. How do I feel? How do you feel? <laughs> you you really me. are a violet. <laughs> How do you feel? Guys, do you think we could finish in 30? Fully dressed. I can. I don't know about the rest of these dudes. <gasps> So what was wrong with my eyebrows in the first place? Everything was wrong with your eyebrows. <laughs> they were too manly. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but... <laughs> Cupcake's just... This is a lot easier on my face. <laughs> a poor craftsman blames his tools. I don't think there's enough makeup in here. I think she's gonna give you up for adoption. <laughs> uh, no. Weren't we uh, talking about how it's such a the mother-daughter relationship was so special? That's before I f***ed up your face. 
I wasn't meant for motherhood. Hold on, guys. I think I'm going to start crying pretty soon. <laughs> My daughter's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I want to be something like spicy sounding. No. Turmeric. That sounds like a disease. Cumin. That sounds like something's coming. <laughs> Cayenne. Cayenne. That's great. Cheyenne. Cheyenne pepper. I like it. I like that. Yeah. yeah. What's your name, Eugene? Uh, Cheyenne pepper. Yes! I like it. All right, the torture devices. I know you've seen one of these before. I've never had that happen before. Really? Yeah. So I know there are bears, there are twinks. I have the hair of a bear, but the body of a twink, so what am I? You would be an otter. An otter? Yes. It's adorable. He looks like a clown, like a demented clown. I think you mean sexy. I always just feel like me, no matter what I'm doing or wearing. But the way people react to me in and out drag is vastly different. Okay. Let's check it. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, she's feminine, though. Okay. Oh, Why did she give me Chanel, though? <laughs> <laughs> What's Chanel? Yeah. I think it's another drag queen. Oh. Yeah, I love her. Really like drag I'm just so self-conscious. I want to be the prettiest girl. Oh, yes! I'm obsessed with your nose. I take three hours to put in my transformation. You pamper yourself, we can make you look hot as hell. Look at her though. I can't. She's not that pretty. Like I knew we were putting on drag makeup, but I just like didn't expect to be like made pretty. I thought it would just be like, haha, look at him, he's wearing makeup. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Well, you're gonna eat glitter now. It's fibrous. Oh my God, that's crazy. Oh, I love those lips. Oh Damn, I look like a different person. Yeah, what the fuck is going on with my eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> If anything, if you fall on your face, I'm be like, she got a cute nose though. All right, guys, it's seven o'clock. We're gonna need to start heading over soon. Yeah, well, let's get our boobs on, y'all. Wait, are you guys tucking? Are you tucking? Guys, Am I tucking? I don't really want to. No, yeah, you're gonna have it to. sounds painful. It you're gonna have to. So I'm gonna teach you how to tuck. I hope you're all ready for this. Wait, who has duct tape? Have, duct tape. A, so, did you hear kind of the summary of the tuck? Yeah, it, it wasn't an exciting thing to hear okay. about. Basically, you take your nuts, you put them up in the sockets. The sock. What does that mean? I don't have sockets. You're gonna tuck the kids up in the cavity. You're gonna have to go, and then. <laughs> what do those sounds mean? <laughs> that doesn't hurt. It was really weird and uncomfortable at first, but I've been doing it so long, I don't even really notice it anymore. So the boys themselves are going upstairs, right? I don't know what. And all the other basically. I feel like I only have a split level house. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Yes. What? Inside. What are you talking about? Up inside that cavity. There's a cavity? Uh, yeah, I need a diagram. Try to do one at a time. I don't want to tape my dick. Do they have dick makeup? <laughs> my dick shrinks pretty well just in this, you know? Are you cool with that? I'm cool with that, actually. I you don't have to tape your dick. You know what? Yes! Because we're just gonna smash your junk down with two pairs of tights. Yeah, I'm gonna go tuck in the bathroom. How much time do we have? Like now. So this is how you make an ass. I have a big ass, so you're gonna have a big ass. Are you expecting to get something in there? Yes, I am. There's nothing, there's no room. Oh, believe me. There's no room in there. There's always room. There's no room in there. How's it going? Is it the, the tape supposed to keep it up? Yes. You like slide them into here? Yeah. Or? Your hips do lie, girl. Hips sometimes lie. How do you go to the bathroom in all this? You don't. Yes. Uh. Ow, mother <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit, oh my god. Well, there's a man shoving foam into my butt. That is what it feels like. That all is of what your descriptions is. for how everything I've felt has just been very that. Holy shit, okay. All right, I can do this. Eugene, you can do this. Ah! Uh, Do you want cleavage? Sure. Push it in and push the other one in. <laughs> no, okay, I can do this. All right, I'm gonna stuff your titties. Please, stuff away. Well. Yes, How am I gonna survive this evening? You're gonna be fine. Did you hit the hole? Yeah, it's, I taped my hole. Use our own chest as leverage. If it hurts, it's working. This is some kind of lesbian shit right now. Woo! I really made it. Mom could only see you now. Yeah, you are just shapely. I think I did it. You're flat. I'm flat. Guess who tucked? Wow. He, he did it. No way. 
I, if I'm gonna shave my legs, yes. I cannot believe I tucked. I'm so proud of myself. Also mortified that I just showed you that. Welcome to BuzzFeed's first time. I'm actually like more nervous about the friend than I am about my grandma. And now I feel the pressure, like I gotta f***ing bring it. I can do this, Mayhem, I can do this. I just want you all a f***ing party. <laughs> Introducing WeHo's stupidest queen, <laughs> Misty Violet. Hello, how we doing? All right. So we had a lovely time turning our mans into women's, um, and my daughteress found herself right away. <laughs> she inducted herself into the House of Stupid pretty easily, um, and so she is very sweet. She's bubblegum. She's she's candy. She's everything. Her name is Ginger Vitus. <laughs> So it's really just all about the show that you put on. Yeah, you're putting on the show. So it's, we know you're not Katy Perry. Right, totally. And you know, just, so I just need to find who this queen is, and just really allow that to express through my face and communicate to everyone exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> Snake Charmer herself, Miss Cupcake Cat. Hi guys, I had a blast doing this. Um, my drag daughter, he is a natural, as you will see. I just want to warn the first row that this could become a splash zone. <laughs> so if you've brought your parkas or your plastic gear, now's the time to put them on. Because we're turning you into a drag queen, everything mm. is over exaggerated. I thought you're... I was being over the top because already. Because most people, <laughs> you can always go more. Wow. Okay. And without further ado, my daughter, Champagne Can. That's my baby! That's my baby! Yeah! Oh, 
ready to party. <laughs> yes. I said, who here is ready to f***ing party? Yeah. You guys, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Maybe fix your hat. I don't f***ing <laughs> Some foreshadowing bitches. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Oh my gosh, my name is Mayhem Miller. I am the queen of the party, and I have the privilege of working with this man all day. And now he is a beautiful woman, my daughter, the one and only Cheyenne Pepper. Pretty sister. Oh. Oh. Now, before I bring my daughter on, can I get a hell yes for all the other performers tonight? Yes, yes indeed. I like that we're all unified tonight. Today, I perform for Grandma and her friend. Tomorrow, I go eat Thanksgiving dinner with them. Like, there's, there's no hiding from this. Like, as soon as we finish here, I'm going to go hang out with them again. Guess I better nail it. I better nail it. Now, it was an honor and a pleasure today to turn this hairy Sasquatch of a man into a gorgeous, soft, glamorous woman who, unlike the other performers, is not a whore. Woo! That being said... Let's see if she makes dollars. Fair. This is not about you right now, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I want to bring this focus back to my gorgeous, amazing, glamorous daughter. So give it up for Cornucopia Kornfeld. <laughs>
I feel good. How did I do? You did I great. I thought you were amazing. Yeah. Did you, how did you enjoy it? I didn't even know who you were, and I didn't know you had such fantastic legs. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> this whole day was impossible. This was like the hardest thing I have ever done. It was a little more of an emotional wrecking ball than I had planned. Huge respect for drag queens. This was like all in all the best I think it could have gone. You did great. <laughs> You're an attractive man. And you are a very attractive woman. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. I don't know. I thought it was going to be kind of weird and I would feel uncomfortable. But once you put all of this on, you really become a different person. I thought you, well, you did Kesha, which Keith loves Kesha. Oh, she did not do Kesha. I did Katy Perry. Katy Perry. House of Stupid. All House of in stupid. the house. House of We're Stupid. All done. It was super fun. Don't worry about getting the words right. Just be me. Be Ginger Vitus. I love when you try. He tries very hard at things. Love when I try. He tries. I feel like my feet, my toes are crushed. My balls and dick have disappeared somewhere within me. I am sweating under this wig. I feel like there's 20 pounds of makeup on my face. And yet, I feel so emotionally like satisfied, you know? There's like a rush to it, which is really cool. I hope you eat a lot of salt tonight and blow it up. Oh my god! <laughs> If you do drag, you gotta have a good mother because that's what makes it work. Aww. I'd cry if I had emotions. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think he resembles if you get to pick somebody? His father. Everything we do with Try Guys, we're so lucky to do it. But the drag video truly was. We were so lucky to be able to have that experience. Also, I had to follow Eugene. What was I thinking? Beautiful, beautiful. I want to make you my beautiful.